Well, I was up early complaining about a few things this morning. Got to use the truck today, so I was, well, thinking of something else to complain about. And I, I've done this before a little bit, but all of this gadgetry that they have on equipment now, period. I suppose phones too. At least the phone doesn't holler at me much. Now, vehicles, they holler at you all the time. Now, listen to this. There's a lovely noise in the morning, you know, when you haven't had enough coffee or anything. You, you hear that? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? And it's got that bleepity bleepity bleep. It might sound pleasant the first couple of bleeps. But if you haven't had enough coffee in the morning and you're not in a real good mood, that aggravates the crap out of me. I don't know about anybody else. No, here's the thing. Let's shut that. Oh, God, I hate that noise. Oh, but it... it why, why does that necessarily have to happen? I know I'm opening the door. I don't need a bleeping, boinging, making noise thing, especially early in the day when I'm opening the door. Now, let's see, some of the other stuff I've talked about is here a while ago. They tell you when you need an oil change. Well, that's nice, but that, that's the only screen that pops up when you start the truck. You need an oil change. I use AMSOIL. I don't need an oil change yet. And why does that automatically have to pop up? Where's the self-responsibility these days? That's why people don't have any. For, the machine tells you to do anything. You don't have to worry about anything about yourself. The headlights, they bleep when the headlights are on. You know how you find out if you shouldn't do that anymore? Your battery goes dead and you gotta jump your truck. And that's how you find out because you feel like an idiot and you're in a bad spot and that kind of stuff. Any of this stuff you should be able to figure out for yourself. If you never change your oil, your truck's gonna blow up. That's a consequence, you're gonna figure it out. But now the one thing, I don't know if this happens to anybody else, these auto door locks, of course, you gotta have a situation, you know, I understand kids, I guess, but you're supposed to belt them in. <sighs> but the auto door lock deal, when the, the truck goes and it starts and everything everything just locks. That's not you, because you know that you can't trust yourself to not jump out of the truck while it's moving or the kid. I mean, that would be too much to ask. So you need the vehicle to explain to you that you shouldn't get out of a moving vehicle. But what bothers me about this whole deal is I get out and I'm kind of a feisty, get things done kind of guy, you know, and I'll, I'll like jump out and I'll have stuff in the back or whatever, and I don't realize that the only door that's now open is the front door, driver's side, and I go running around, usually the other side of the truck, and I go yank on that, and I dislocate my shoulder because I'm in such a hurry. My arm is now out of the socket. I don't understand. And I, well, it, it, it happens to other people. Well, anyway, that's a long enough vent for all of this. Kind of some of the same stuff, but I don't... These, this stuff on these vehicles, can you sell the trucks where it's turned off first? We'll turn it on if we want to see it.